This is actually, I would call it a dual study. Even though the primary uh, outcome, at least in regards to the article, is focused on ginkgo biloba and its benefit towards type 2 diabetes, there's also an extremely interesting side note in regard to magnetized water. Magnetized water does some pretty incredible stuff. And we'll see more about that as we get into the study itself. But without making it too long a video clip, let's begin. All right, ginkgo biloba may aid in treating type 2 diabetes. The extract of leaves of ginkgo biloba, a popular dietary supplement, may offer some therapeutic benefits in fighting type 2 diabetes. In diabetic rats, this was an animal model, remember we deal with a lot with pilot studies, ginkgo biloba had a very good effect on the beta cells of Langerhans, cells in the pancreas responsible for insulin secretion, by creating a restorative effect similar to what we see in healthy non-diabetic rats. And I mean close, real close to the controls. All right, why did the researchers take this course? And I'm interested in really myself to know why they also did magnetized water at the same time as ginkgo biloba. But let us proceed. It has been suggested that dietary antioxidants may play a role in reducing the risk of type 2 diabetes as well as its complications. The extracts derived from ginkgo biloba and we're going to go into dosaging and things like that in a little bit, including on how they man manufactured magnetized water as well. I'll post it up on how they manufactured it in a few seconds. The extracts derived from a ginkgo biloba have been frequently used in traditional medicine and has been shown to exhibit antioxidant potency. Ginkgo biloba extract leads to significant alterations in antioxidant enzymes, superoxidase dismutase, catalase, glutathione peroxidase, and total antioxidant status which many people are not aware of. The magnetized water, again, dual study, however, has also been reported to reduce blood glucose, improve antioxidant status, and lipid profiles in streptocytosin induced diabetic rats. The protective effects of magnetized water is induced by elevating the concentration of glutathione peroxidase in serum after one or two months of exposure. Keep in mind, the study only ran about a month, yet you could see the effects of magnetized water as well as ginkgo biloba. Even though ginkgo biloba outperformed magnetized water, henceforth winner of the outcome of the title. But still, just the same, fascinating. But to proceed, the pancreatic cells of diabetic rats are reduced and insulin secretion is curtailed after having ginkgo biloba. They weren't combined, they were two separate uh, outcomes. A magnetized water added to their diets. The mass of the pancreatic beta cells and the amount of insulin in these cells were shown to increase markedly, almost back to normal levels, particularly in the ginkgo biloba treated group. Again, this is only after one month to proceed. In addition, both ginkgo biloba and magnetized water improved the antioxidant status and reduced the oxidative stress associated with type 2 diabetes by downregulation of the two antioxidant enzymes, glutathione and superoxidase dispatase in the pancreatic tissue, quoting the researcher. All right, now I want to go over the dosaging that was utilized. Keep in mind this is an animal model. Does not mean it correlates straight to what human dosaging should be. And again, also being an animal model, being a pilot study, we're going to need further studies eventually to validate this information with the same effects in people. But to proceed as follows. Group two was orally administered the water extraction of ginkgo biloba leaves at 0.11 milligrams per kilogram per day for four weeks, purchased from da -da -da, the company. Group three was orally administered mag magnetic treated magnetized water for four weeks as well, diabetic plus MW. All right, the reason that's important when you look at the diabetic plus MW or a diabetic plus, uh, again, was a GB, all right, is because the chart right there. You can see the differences in the control group no diabetes, nothing. The diabetic group, and then the diabetic group either giving ginkgo biloba and or magnetized water. Again, the primary outcome of the study is in regard to ginkgo biloba, but however though, the magnetized water definitely has done something. And that's why I keep on referring back to it. Now keep in mind, the control group and the diabetic group are both drinking water just the same. So. There's something going on here in regard to the magnetization of the water, which has shown its benefit as well. But again, this study is titled Ginkgo Biloba in regard to treating type 2 diabetes. However, 
Still fascinating. But to proceed as follows, all right, here's the chart on how they manufacture the magnetized water as well. I'll leave that up for a second. And now I'll take it down. To proceed, the caveat. Ginkgo biloba is one of the oldest living tree species, according to the researcher. Most ginkgo products are made with extract prepared from leaves. Most research on ginkgo focuses on the effects on dementia and age-related memory impairments such as Alzheimer's disease and pain caused by too little blood flow or claudication. Important to highlight that effect because often you'll see studies in regard to ginkgo biloba not making a difference. Well, it depends on the scenario which ginkgo is introduced in regard to the study looking for a particular outcome. In this case, poor blood flow. Proceed. It is commonly available as an oral tablet, extract, capsule, or tea. It is non-toxic when used in low dosages, but can interact with other medicines. Quoting the researcher, I would not recommend eating raw or roasted ginkgo seeds because they can be poisonous. It should be taken as a capsule or in tablets if used. Also, if you are taking medications, please consult with your physician before considering ginkgo biloba. Again, we can really, really expand the study out because it has two fascinating elements which are studied. Ginkgo biloba, which in this case was the winner, and magnetized water, two, which still I'm fascinated with just the same. However, the DOI citation will be listed, link to the full published study as well, so you can delve into it more on your own. But in any case, uh, ginkgo biloba, even though people mostly see it from memory, has a very, very pertinent potential, pertinent potential in regard to benefiting those with type two diabetes. Especially, you're considering after 30 days, returning a lot of the factors back to that of those animals without type two diabetes, making it look virtually the same, so to say. All right, but without adding publisher bias, it's still the outcome to me is just incredible. And I really, really can't wait to see some human trials in regard to the ginkgo biloba and especially magnetized water. Now I'm, I'm totally like fascinated by that. Again, Ralph signing off, all the links will be there for you. Hope you find this information of use. Thank you very much for listening. Subscribe if you like, because there's no other way for us to get the information out there to you. And always, thank you. And I'll catch you guys later on. See you then. Bye.